Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nymal's Gadget Review Channel and Food Review Channel. Uh, this is a review on the Kroger. Never had this pizza before, but saw it, decided to review it. It's a Kroger three minute microwave pizza. My frozen food reviews have been uh, popular, especially the dollar store frozen food uh, reviews. So I thought, why not try a Kroger one? These were about a buck a piece, and they have three minute microwave pizzas. I think they're like a dollar or two dollars a piece, uh, but these are, I guess, one of the, the less expensive items at Kroger in their frozen food section. They're prepared food, but these are three minute microwave pizzas. So I got pepperoni, supreme, and there was also a cheese pizza, but I decided to do this one. So yeah, once again, my dollar store, Dollar Tree reviews were popular and decided to, to do uh, a little frozen food section review on uh, at Kroger. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Uh, but yeah, my goal this month is 20,000 Facebook stars, 4% of the way there. I have no idea if I'm going to meet it or not, hopefully. But here we go. You have a classic crispy crust, one serving, cook and serve, keep frozen, cool for two minutes, 7.2 ounces, 550 calories. Look at all those ingredients. Check that out. That is a lot of ingredients. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Looks like people got notified with this one. <laughs> Sometimes people don't get notified. It just depends on what I'm reviewing. Um, your favorite flavors in a flash. Don't put your cravings on hold. Our three-minute microwave pizzas come in five mouth-watering varieties so you can have the taste you want without the weight. So microwave uh, pullback tab at the end of the carton. Peel back carton top along perforations. Do not tear off top of carton. Remove pizza from plastic wrap. Fold carton Top fully around bottom of carton. Silver surface should be facing up, creating a microwave crisp, crust crisping platform. Place on the silver side of the crisping platform. Microwave on high for three minutes. So yeah, something. Let's see, seventeen grams of protein. That's that's good. Oh, look, Bill was notified. Okay, great. Uh, fifty percent of your sodium. That's quite high. But let's open it up, see what this thing looks like, see if you should be getting it at your next Kroger trip. So that's what it looks like. It's a, between, I think, a dollar and, and two dollars, this, this item right here. So I guess it's pretty comparable to Dollar Tree stuff, Dollar Store items in price, especially since now that the Dollar Tree is $1.25. All right, so it looks pretty good. I would say, check that out. Doesn't look too bad. And then, let's see. How do these boxes work? So you want to get the, the crisping plate. Okay, so it has these little perforations right here. Okay, there we go. Good afternoon. Mona's here. All right. I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's put this in the microwave for three minutes. Uh... Since I can't give you stars, I share your videos so people can give you a star and spread their use. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> there. Yeah, kind of. I did it. All right, so here we go. We're going to put it in the microwave. But yeah, what do you think of the look of that pizza? It doesn't look too bad. So three minutes in the microwave. Darlene says, good, good job. Appreciate it. All right. So Supreme looks better than Tony's. <laughs> that is, that's a Supreme. Wow. So my suggestion is with these things is always add your own toppings. Kind of bland, but you can't beat them. Better cheese, put better cheese. That doesn't look bad at all. 
All right, Supreme. So you have sausage, pepperoni, red and green peppers, and onions. Uh, 510 calories. You have 15 grams of protein, 40% of your sodium. So as far as uh, your, I guess, don't they call them macros? As far as macros go, it's, there's a little bit less calories in this thing. Looks good. Packaging is crazy. Got to be smarter than the box, which isn't easy. Use scissors next time. They're good. All right, so cooking instructions. Yeah, you just do the same thing, and then you cook it for three minutes on high. All right, let's open this one up. I bet you could count the peppers. Yeah. We'll see. Ah, I don't know. Oh, Christine, thank you so much. 100 stars from Christine. Thank you. Really appreciate it. It really helps out. All right, so this one, I don't know if I got a bad pizza, but check that out. That, that doesn't look as good as the, the first one. So yeah, you can count the peppers. You have one, one green pepper, two green peppers, three, four, four green peppers. You have one, two, two red peppers. There are eight at most. And definitely better in the oven versus the microwave. Yeah, uh, I, I totally. I could even see putting this in the air fryer. If you have one. Kind of. Use your scissors. Push pizza down on plate, get extra sauce. You can just kind of rip it. All you have to do is get it on this plate, I think. All right, the pizza is done. <laughs> Let me show you this one in one second. Look at this. <laughs> Okay. It's warm in the middle. I thought it was going to be cold. So I would definitely recommend the oven just based on the, the appearance. It looks pretty uh, oily and kind of strange to me. It's not how I was expecting this to look at all. Then we have a little... Progressive uh, slicer here. Yeah, interesting. All right, let's see if it's crispy though. So here we go. Three, two, one. Let's cut into it. No, I don't hear any crispiness, which I didn't. I thought I thought there'd be a little bit of crispiness cooking on this thing. But let me let me check it. So check the bottom here. It's yeah. You can hear that kind of texture there. You have to add this and that. Uh, yeah, totally. You gotta, pizza's good no matter what. That's true. If you just add a little bit of stuff, I mean, you could make this so much better. But yeah, I can feel a little bit of crispiness. It's not completely soggy, like the top looks really soggy, but it is a little bit crispy at the bottom. So let's try it out. This is the uh, pepperoni Kroger pizza between I think one and two bucks so let's try it out so here we go three two one <laughs> I do have Tums yeah three two one um so one thing I noticed is not I mean it's definitely no, not Crispy, where you're crunching into the crust here. Um, you get a strong uh, flavor of that pepperoni. I mean, if you're familiar with any type of store-bought pizza, there's like a, a kind of a standard flavor to the the pepperoni they seem to use. It's really strong, you know, the flavor. 
Um, a little bit of the sauce definitely lacks. I would like to see more sauce. The cheese is, it's okay. I, I would say the main thing you get is dough and pepperoni flavor. So, so yeah, I, if I was uh, making this, I would add my own pasta sauce, some extra mozzarella. Um, yeah, this is definitely the best part. I would say the crust, actually. I don't... The pepperoni... I don't know. It's... I'm just not a huge fan of the, the really kind of like cheap pepperoni frozen food section, you know. I don't know. These little chunks. Just not a big fan of that. It just overpowers the pizza. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, normally, I like pepperoni pizza, but... I don't know, but I would say that the, the crust is pretty good. Like I said, if you if you added ingredients, it would taste a lot better. So I'm kind of, I guess, on the fence. There's so many better options out there. All right, surprisingly, look at that. So we, when we cook this one, this one actually looks better. I would say it looks a little bit more appetizing. I like the color, you know, the eight pieces of uh, peppers here. We have the green peppers and the red peppers. There's also, it seems like there's some onions. And you got these little teeny tiny uh, chunks of uh, sausage here. All right, but how does it taste? Here we go. I'm not hearing any crunchiness like similar to the last pizza. So I would definitely recommend putting these in an oven or an air fryer or a toaster oven, something like that. That looks good. You first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So check that out. Not crispiness, but it's not soggy either on the bottom here. Look at that. So here we go, three, two, one, taste test, Supreme Pizza from Kroger. Or Kroger brand. All right. So it's a lot more mild. Um, I guess first thing you taste is the crust. It's not crispy, but there is some chewiness, which is nice. It's not soggy. Uh, then you get the marinara sauce, which is nice. And then maybe some of the peppers and like onions and a little bit of the, the sausage taste. But I would say the most thing that comes through is just the, the I guess it's not marinara, but the, the pizza sauce and the crust. And this one, all you taste is the pepperoni. So I think this one's just a little bit more balanced tasting. So surprisingly, when I took it out of the packaging, I thought I would like this one better. But my final review, my final recommendation is I think the Supreme Pizza beats the pepperoni pizza. And is it worth a buck? You know, it's like between a dollar, two dollars. I would say, yeah, it's it's worth a, a couple bucks for sure. Is it the best pizza you'll ever have in your life? Uh, not even close. So if I had to rate this out of all pizzas everywhere that I've ever had in the history of pizza, this is like a, a one and a half or something, or maybe a two, 10 being the best. So out of frozen food pizza, maybe like a, a four, four out of 10, something like that. But yeah, just add your ingredients. I would say if I cook these in the the uh, oven, I might be saying 
something different, but you got to get them crispy. I mean, pizza is just, the crust is, it has to be crispy. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, let me just show you the box if you want to look for it. It's just in the frozen food section. And yeah, I won't, but uh, yeah, so check that out. So it's Kroger right there. If, if it was brought to a potluck, would there be leftovers? Um, I guess if there was nothing else at the potluck, no, then everybody would have, I mean, these would be gone, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you've ever been to like a really cheap buffet and they have pizza. That's kind of what maybe like this, this kind of level where they have the, the pizza that's just, it's kind of like filler food and it's good enough to eat, but it's just not quite enjoyable. That's kind of what it is. It's like cheap buffet pizza like the really, really cheap buffet where they're trying to fill you up with like carbs and stuff. So yeah, once again, I'm gonna show you the what these look like. Let's get some one with the, this is the winner here. So if you're just joining the Supreme Pizza from Kroger, check that out. Green peppers sausage, cheese, sauce, and then the crust. So this one won. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Um... Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the stars. And until next time, I'll see you later.